Hey, what's up? This is Jason Drone, and this is the Apple Watch. By the end of this three video series, you will have discovered the single million dollar strategy that Apple uses to release their products to the world and dominate their competition, as well as learn the step-by-step -step process to applying that billion dollar strategy to your own business. Let me ask you a question. How would you like to sell a few hundred people at a time? each and every day, without having to get up on stage, without needing to prepare an interactive speech, without spending a small fortune renting a room or paying food and beverage costs, and best yet, without leaving your house. It doesn't matter what you're selling, services, products, consulting, or high-end coaching. You will get sales if you watch this three video series to the end and take action on what I'm gonna share with you. You'll discover exactly how to find, pitch, and sell hundreds, even thousands of people at a time, folks who are ready and willing to buy what you're selling, no matter what the price is. You'll learn how to attract prospects, get more folks to sign up for your email list, educate your new audience and bond with them at the same time so that you're the default expert in their marketplace, no matter what industry. And ultimately, you're gonna learn how to close those people and get the sale within days of them finding out about you. Now, just to be frank, this video series is only going to be up for a very short time. So pay attention to the videos, take notes, and make sure you take action as we go through this process. What you'll learn about is an advanced sales tool that utilizes a bunch of psychological buying triggers. It's advanced stuff and is effective when you use just one of those triggers, but when you daisy chain them together, it's like magic. Plus, it's super easy to set up and deploy. This online sales tactic is a triple threat, one that myself and other smart marketers have been using that commands your prospects to sit up and take notice. The true beauty though, is that it's not just a sales tool. It's a lead magnet, it's a bonding element, and it's the world's best highest converting sales strategy. That's why I call it the triple trigger. You don't have to be a copywriter, you don't have to be good at sales, and you definitely don't need to be caught up on the latest and greatest trends. All you need is to have something that you want to sell and the ability to do a little bit of education on why someone would want your product or service. The rest we'll talk about in the next few videos. Now, before I tell you about what this triple trigger method is and how you can implement it in your business, what you will discover when you watch this video series until the end is a proven sales system that maximizes conversion while minimizing the time required to sell. That means you'll have more time to do the things you want to do to grow your business, like manage day-to-day -day operations or introduce new products to the lineup or come up with creative new upsells. Plus, when you watch this video series until the end, you'll have the ability to introduce a new sales technology to your business, one that bonds prospects to you and your company so that your new customers feel more comfortable doing business with you and they stick around longer, buying more from you throughout their lifetime. Before I get any further, let me introduce myself. My name is Jason Drone, the world's leading quickest path to cash strategist. Eight years ago, I drove a Pepsi truck for a living and quite simply fell in love with the internet and business and wanted to find a way to bring those two things together. Aside from the companies and websites that I've built and grown, I've been helping business owners grow their revenues online for over eight years now. In fact, I've applied what you're about to discover in everything from business courses to skin creams to financial planning, from legal practices to live conferences to high-end coaching. The truth is what you will discover in this video series is the single best sales and marketing strategy I have ever put in place for myself or my clients. Now, before we get into the nuts and bolts of selling more product to your customers, let's dissect the normal sales process. Normally, Someone comes to your website or gives you a call and they're looking for something. Maybe they're looking for a financial planner or landscaping services. Or if they're on your website, maybe they're looking for more information about how to do something like buying and selling real estate or how to get back together with their ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend. Whatever you do, whatever business you're in, people are looking for you. Otherwise, you wouldn't be in business. The common thread among all of your potential customers is, is that they have a problem that needs to be solved, and they're hoping you're the one to help them solve it. Unfortunately, though, when they reach out to you, you're not equipped with the right marketing strategy. You see, in business, there is a fundamental principle taught in almost every business school in the world. That principle is called ADA. 
ADA is an acronym used in marketing and advertising that describes a common list of events that may occur when a consumer engages with an advertisement. A stands for attention or awareness, and that's where you attract the attention of the customer. I stands for interest. So you raise the customer interest by focusing on and demonstrating advantages and benefits instead of focusing on features as in traditional advertising. D stands for desire. So you're going to convince customers that they want and desire the product or service and that it will satisfy their needs. And then the final A stands for action. You're going to lead customers towards taking action and purchasing. The term and approach are commonly attributed to American advertising and sales pioneer E. St. Elmo Lewis. In one of his publications on advertising, Lewis postulated at least three principles to which an advertisement should conform. He said the mission of an advertisement is to attract a reader so that he will look at the advertisement and start to read it, then to interest him so that he will continue to read it, then to convince him so that when he has read it, he will believe it. If an advertisement contains these three qualities of success, it is a successful advertisement. The idea is to bring awareness to your brand, your company, and your solution. Then through education, we're gonna raise the interest and desire while ultimately leading your prospect to take action with you. Whether that be filling out a form for a callback, scheduling an appointment, or buying your products or service on the spot. There's one major hurdle with the ADA strategy though, as it applies to you currently. Your website isn't set up to raise customer interest or increase desire of your product. And even if it was, it isn't a self-contained mechanism. It's kind of spread out over different pages. It isn't automated. So what you're left with is having tens and hundreds of individual sales calls, walking a customer through this strategy one by one. That makes for a painful process. Long days of endless talking and pitching and hearing prospects shoot you down, saying no to you and your products and services, making you feel like a failure and ultimately wondering if you started the right business in the first place. Or maybe it has you questioning the validity of your product or your idea. And when you get real with yourself, you realize that the five or six hours a day that you're spending on the phone or going back and forth to meetings, trying to get people interested in your products is all wasted. And that's if you have that many people coming to you, looking for what you sell. The reality is that you probably don't. You might have a sales call every few days and your family's well-being hinges on the balance of you making a sale or not. And that's never a good place to be. Now, what I'm about to share with you is a way for you to systematically scale your revenue and the number of sales you get every single day without needing to get on individual sales calls, without having to schedule around lunch meetings and get togethers, and that systematic selling solution is the triple trigger. A triple trigger is an automated sales webinar designed to collect leads, bond, and ultimately sell your product. You see, back at the beginning of this video, you saw a picture of the Apple Watch. That one single product will represent hundreds of millions and probably billions of dollars in revenue to Apple. Notice how they launched it. They invited the press, their customers, and lots of other stakeholders to an event. They packed them all in a room and released the Apple Watch from stage roughly 55 minutes into the presentation. Spectators knew that they were about to witness something special with the rumor mill buzzing, but that didn't stop the awe and shock of the launch of Apple's flagship wearable product. And you as a business owner can replicate the exact same consumer-driven science in your sales process. You can attract prospects to an event, you can interest them in attending and learning more about your offer. You can increase their desire by educating them on how to solve their problem through your product, of course. And you can entice them to take action before leaving your webinar. Best yet, having your own sales event, your own webinar, practically guarantees you sales. You see, webinars convert roughly four to six times the number of prospects to buyers than ordinary sales letters do. In fact, if you have a product that costs more than $500, webinars are particularly suited for you. They give your prospect a chance to engage with you, interact with you, ask questions of you, and they know that there are other people on the webinar too, hundreds, maybe thousands. They know that there might not be enough 
and they might be called back quickly, or that you might include a special bonus to sweeten the pot a little bit. Normally when I talk about putting on webinars, I get a flurry of questions, like what software do I use? Can I automate it so it just runs for me? What can I sell on the webinar? How do I structure the webinar so that I sell the most? What do I need to include in the webinar in terms of pictures? How do I transition between the desire part, you know, the content, and the action part where you make the pitch? That's what this video series is all about walking you through the setup of your sales event. First though, I wanna share my initial experience with webinars and how it came about that I ran one. And really since then I've run over 600 of them. Now the first time I decided to put on a webinar, I registered for a piece of software that was free to use. They've since gone out of business. I was really broke at the time and I didn't have any money to pay for the good software, being go to webinar. I didn't have an email list either, so there might have been 20 or 30 people that I had emailed independently asking if they wanted to join in, but I was super hesitant because I didn't want my friends to see me fail miserably. So I posted a few status updates to Facebook and Twitter asking if anybody wanted to join me on the webinar. After three days of promoting haphazardly to my Facebook account and Twitter, I had a whopping eight people registered. Mind you, this was almost five years ago. I had a course that I wanted to sell on local marketing. I didn't have any money for traffic or to test the sales copy. So I figured that my webinar would serve as a way to test live without the hassles of analytics and split testing and all that. I fired up my computer about five minutes before the webinar started, switched on the software and, and readied my presentation. When I went live, no one was there. It was a ghost town, not a single person. A few minutes into it, the first person showed up. Then a few minutes after that, prospect number two and number three signed in. And that was it, three people on a live call. I remember thinking, well, at least this is a learning experience. Now, aside from being nervous and shaky with my voice cracking because I was presenting to someone, I kept going. And at this time, I was deathly afraid of public speaking. I went right through the story, through the pitch, through the questions. 84 minutes later, I finished. On the webinar, I offered a course for $397. I tried my best to model some of the other courses that were selling, and I had quite a bit of confidence in the material itself. Selling it, selling it was a different story though. So I logged into my shopping cart to see if anything had sold. I knew nothing had. If only three people were on the webinar, the likelihood of a sale was next to nil. So going over to the sales tab, clicking, waiting, what I saw absolutely shocked me. Two of the three people who had been on the webinar had bought the product, had purchased. I couldn't believe it. It was the first time I ever did a webinar with unproven copy that I just threw together, not knowing what I was doing, and I made $794. That's when the phone rang. On the webinar, I gave away my phone number because I was that anxious of it bombing. If someone had questions, I wanted to make sure that I could answer them. Rob was calling from Illinois. He was the third person on the webinar. Hi Jason, I just wanted to call and make sure you were a real person before I bought. Absolutely Rob, it's a great course. Let me know if you need anything, I replied. Sale number three was locked in. A little over $1,100 made from 84 minutes worth of time selling. And that was when I knew that webinars were gonna be a major part of my selling strategy. They were quick to put together. You could test copy on the fly. You can answer real questions from real people. And you can literally sell more than any other method. Since then, I've written over 70 sales webinars for myself and my clients. I've personally given over 600 webinars, both by myself and with affiliate partners. I've used webinars to do coaching calls, Q&A sessions, and live training. The best thing is they work in literally any industry digital products, physical products, service-based businesses, consulting and coaching, software, franchises. If you have something to sell, you can create an event and sell it, as long as you follow the right formula. You'll get more leads and more prospects. You'll convert more of those prospects to sales. Your buyer satisfaction will be a whole lot higher. Your refund rate will actually decrease and you'll be able to get to know your audience in a way that you never have before. With one webinar, you can attract new leads, bond with those new leads, and ultimately sell to those new leads. Plus, webinars can be used for lead magnets, sales tools, bonding mechanisms, all in one shot. 
Now, crafting the perfect sales webinar isn't difficult, but there is a process to it. You have to be deliberate, you must deliver value, and you need to know exactly what to price your product and how to close the webinar. And that's where video number two comes in. In the next video, I'm going to walk you through the exact process I use to create sales webinars from scratch, selling anything from video courses to high-end coaching, consulting, or services, ranging from $67 all the way up to $10,000. So make sure to look for that video in your email. It'll be ready in a few days. And in case you're wondering why this training isn't done through a webinar, here's why. These standalone on-demand videos work way better for stepping you through a process point by point and also getting you to take action. Webinars are great for sales, but when you try to cram eight or 900 slides into one presentation, it can get a little tricky to pull off. Typically, a 60 slide webinar lasts about 80 minutes because there's a lot of dialogue, a lot of questions. So that's why we're putting everything together in a video series. So make sure to watch your email for the next video, and in the meantime, leave a comment below this video letting me know that you liked it, as well as any questions you have about setting up the webinar itself. In the next few videos, we'll be walking through the process live, so I'll make sure to include answers to your questions, and we'll talk soon. Thanks!